Oh, hey. What's going on in there, Vortex? Are you chilling? Not like a villain, because villains don't do that. Villains are out starting controversy. <laughs> yes, they are. Do y'all like my hair? I had to cut it. Got mad at it again. It was funny though. It's funny the predicaments that I find myself in multiple times for the same exact reason. Hopefully that works. I guess it's somebody's birthday. Because my neighbors are having a party. <sighs> Do you guys remember your last birthday party? Me neither. really sad when I think about my childhood and not because I had a shitty childhood but because I didn't have a shitty childhood um, it actually uh, wasn't that bad but I can't go back to it I'll say the whole time that I was a kid though My life has always been hard. And the reason it's always been hard is because my emotions have always been really intense. And so, imagine being a child and going to school, being immersed in a sea of stupidity all the time. And, and really, not much has changed, <laughs> but it's like when, you, when you're a really intense person and you think a lot and you feel a lot, um, it's really pretty torturous, like, being forced to, you know, be around a bunch of people that, that aren't like that, you know, it's like, I always figured, you know, that there was something terribly wrong with me, but maybe it was something that was terribly right with me, you know? Like, maybe, maybe I had it right being so emotional all the time about everything, and it's like people that, that try to be all, like, lighthearted and shit, like, it's stupid because everything's actually really serious, you know? <laughs> but that's why I'm, I'm, like, on the level that I'm on, because... You know, I can't help but take everything really seriously. Um, so, you know, if, if people think that I'm like somewhat insensitive or like 
I, I seem like I don't care about about tragedy and disasters and shit like that. That's that's not it. That's not it at all. Like it's my weights are completely screwy. Like I couldn't figure out like why I was so like happy go lucky when I woke up today because like I didn't get that much sleep and like I didn't go to work yesterday because I felt like shit um but I felt like shit for a lot of reasons it wasn't just like physically it was like just mentally and psychologically I just feel like um you know I'm not being productive and I think that we all know why and uh, so I decided, like yesterday, after I smoked three blunts, uh, <laughs> that I probably shouldn't smoke pot. Because it's like making me a lot less likely to actually get out and do anything that I really sincerely want to do. Um, it does help me not give a fuck, though. It helps me to not give a fuck about, about all this crazy shit going on. Um... I mean, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm lucky to have this sort of like alternative perspective on things, but it's also very, very lonely because it really is quite alternative. I mean, there's so many people that they probably think they have me pegged, um, but it's like then they'll watch another video and unsubscribe. So, <laughs> um, it's like I am such a mess. I can't make my mind up on anything, um, which I think makes me way more of an actual person than the majority of people on the internet right now that are trying so hard to, you know, go along with like a particular idea of themselves, you know, and of course, you know, politics will always play a role, but it's like, I just feel like these, these, uh, social norms are sort of like set in stone like people think that they have to behave a certain way they think that they have to say certain things or refrain from saying certain things in order to be liked in society in order to be accepted in order to be ex uh, uh, successful shit like that and me I just it's like I was thinking about how unconventional it must seem to people to just not care like like last night I chopped all my hair off and I did this in a very short period of time. Like I went and took a shower and my hair was still matted after I put like a fuck ton of conditioner in the son of a bitch. And it amazed me, like I guess how nonchalantly I just like chopped all my hair off, you know? And like when I woke up today, like I, I trimmed I trimmed it a little bit to make it to make it look slightly better. Y'all don't think it looks bad, do you? It looks pretty good. It looks like a professional did it. Well, I'm a professional, baby. Um, I'm a professional DIY bitch. But I was thinking about that, like how how that must seem so strange to people. They care so much about their physical appearance and their, you know. And not just like how they look physically, but like how other people see them, like how how they're interpreted every day. You know, and like I, I think that I think that we all like make decisions like based on like how we perceive ourselves. Like for me, just randomly chopping my hair off. Um, because I don't want to fuck with it anymore. I don't want to keep brushing it or not brushing it and turning it into the mess that it is. Like, I don't want to have to deal with it. So I'm very low maintenance. And I'm definitely not going to make an appointment to go to a fucking hairstylist. Fuck that shit. That's money. That's time. That's energy. That's me having to drive my car, Fiona. That's Fiona and I have to travel to, to a fucking hair salon. All for something that I can do my damn self with a pair of scissors in like two fucking seconds. It's stupid. I just, I just don't understand a lot of this stuff that society does. But like, I, I was so pepper. I was so pepper when I woke up. You know? You ever, you ever feel pepper? I'm pepper. <laughs> I don't think that that's right. Pepper is not right. It's pep. <laughs> 
you have pep, not pepper. <laughs> a pepper is somebody that constantly has pep. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But you, you had pep this morning, or this afternoon, whatever. The, the morning that was the afternoon, that was when we wake the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of pep. I had a lot of pep when I woke up. And uh, I was trying to figure out why. It's like, oh, my hair, my hair's short now. That's why. My hair's short, and I smoked all my weed last night. And so, well, I didn't smoke, I mean, I smoked all my, all my blunts. Because I had all these rolling papers. And technically, I still have rolling papers. Like, I have, uh, uh, what are those little, like, you know what I'm talking about? Those little papers, 1.5. They usually, uh, put the, the name of the, whatever. I, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, uh, still technically I have those in my house. But, it's like I was thinking, like every single time that I go back to doing something that I know doesn't fucking work, um, first of all, I always tell myself this, it's an experiment. <laughs> Y'all ever do that? Y'all ever like, make what is obviously going to be a mistake? <laughs> and you're just like, you know, fuck my life. I'm gonna repeat failed behaviors. <laughs> Fuck whatever I've learned in the past. I'm gonna pretend that I don't know all that shit and go directly back into the fucking abyss. Well, that's what I did. With the drug that is actually a really good drug. And like the grand scheme of things, I would say marijuana is probably like the best drug out there because of everything that it can offer a person. But unfortunately, in spite of all that, it can also offer you absolutely nothing. And so, I've just noticed that for like the past month, I've just been like, going further and further into my illness. And though that's all well and good, because it's like, you know, I can, I can explain it to people. And I feel like, like what I just said about, you know, making something that's obviously a mistake, um, where it's like, it's not a mistake. If like, I can teach somebody something, if I learn anything at all, it's not a mistake. But that's also an excuse to keep making more mistakes. But, Jesus, I just spit that everywhere, didn't I? Oh my God. Spilling this coffee. Yeah, you is. But like, you know, it's funny though because like, as black as I am on the inside, I'll never be black on the outside. Unfortunately, you know, I wish that that would happen over time, but it doesn't. Um, and I was thinking about that. Like how it really doesn't matter, like all these things that I really want to believe. If it's not true, it's not true, you know? So, I can say, oh yeah, I'm black on the inside, that's why I'm getting high again. It's like, well, I'm schizophrenic, so it's really not smart, you know? Like, I'm still making the cookies though. So I, I, I'm basically doing the same shit that I did before, like I'm just telling myself, okay, I'm not... I shouldn't smoke unless I'm smoking with other people. And like, see, I'm always my, my, uh, what do you call it? My plan. My plan that goes awry within five fucking minutes. My plan is always, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this only. And that's how any addiction starts, where you say to yourself, okay, I'm only gonna do this at this time. I'm only gonna do this in this place. I'm only gonna do this with these people. And then slowly but surely, it turns into an anytime I can possibly do this, I do this. And unfortunately, you know, with me having the screwy brain that I do, being a borderline personality and having schizophrenia juxtaposed along with that, it's kind of, it's like set in stone that I'd, I'd be obsessive compulsive about, um, 
know, anything that I can smoke. And so, I just, I, I don't know. It's like, it doesn't matter though how much information I have on the subject. It doesn't matter like how much time I have away from something or how much time I have to figure something out, how much I learn about it, uh, how, how many, how many uh, A meetings I've gone to and how many times I've been to rehab. You know, it's, like, it's so stupid. Like all these people I know go rehab over and over again. I'm like, dude, it didn't work the first time. What makes you think it's gonna work the seventh? It just doesn't, it doesn't compute with me why people spend money. I know, I know. See, self-awareness fucking sucks, you guys. But see, I'm getting on to myself, but it's like I spent all this money on like bags and bags of weed, you know? Just, but you know, I like, I like weed. I like to smoke it. I like the effect that it has on me. Oh my God. Okay, you guys, so I'm trying to, look at this, if that lets you know what's going on. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Ah! That was a funny sound. I don't think you should eat that banana. Just, just toss it. Just toss the fucking banana. Don't eat it. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm sweating profusely, probably because I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking throw up. I just want to show you guys what's in my lap right now. I'm not going to because that would mean that I would have to reposition you, Vortex, but I will in a second. Jesus H. Christ, this is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> it looks like a, this banana that I was attempting to eat just took a shit in my fucking lap. That's what it looks like, okay? You'll understand once you see it. But anyway, yeah, I'm all pepped up right now because I'm doing something different. I'm doing something different by starting over again. And I think that's probably why, that's probably why I went back to weed anyway, was because I just wanted to start over. I always fucking do that shit. Yeah, but this time I don't want you to talk about it, okay? Do not talk about it at all because that, that's always what trips you up. Is you start talking about it and then, then you're like, oh, I don't know about that. You start second guessing yourself and you go right back to that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's bad. Jesus, I need to stop going so fast. I'm, I'm driving like 10 books speed limit. That's not cool. No, but anyway, like, so I bought this huge bag of weed. And I told myself, all right, you're only gonna smoke this with other people. Like, so I would, I would buy all these like cigarillos and, and I'd roll blunt after blunt after blunt. But then I started smoking them by myself, right? So, so there goes my fucking plan. So I say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this shit. And then I keep coming up with excuses as to why, you know, I don't have to go along with what I said I was gonna do. And like, that that's the nature, I, I don't think that's just the nature of addiction, I think that's like the nature of humanity, that's the nature of, of, of what we do, of what we do as human beings. We, we tell ourselves that uh, we can handle stuff that we can't handle. And like, when I switch to edibles, I uh, miraculously found myself in a position that I've never been in before where I, I could like say no to it. You know, but when I smoke that shit, I think it's just because I, I just love to smoke anything and everything. And it's, it's bad because like uh, I would quit smoking cigarettes and then I would smoke cigars. And I'd smoke cigars the same way I smoke cigarettes. I smoke weed the same way that I smoke cigars, the same way I smoke cigarettes. So it's like, you know, unfortunately, you can change certain aspects of yourself, but it's really, really hard. And it, it change comes with time, and it comes with patience, and it comes with diligence. And if you're like an addict, you're not going to be able to change that like part of yourself that wants to escape you know and so 
something that, that I find very disheartening. There, there really is no escape. Um, and I think that I was smoking a lot of weed to sort of escape the world, you know? But it's like, I go, I go into myself. So it, it, how is that an escape? You know, because I'm not really changing anything. Like it's not, well that's not the point of escape though. The point of escape isn't to change, the point of escape is to get out, you know? To get out of your head, get out of that moment, get out of that feeling. And so you alter the way that you feel and all of a sudden, you know, you're somewhere else. You're actually in the same place, but <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about it. You're still in the same place. But, like mentally, I guess you're somewhere else. But physically, emotionally, I mean, you're just, you're just putting off whatever you don't want to experience, you know? So you're still gonna have to experience it later. Yeah, I tell myself there's a purpose to all this experimentation, you know what I mean? Like, there's a purpose to it. You see, I'm still fucking paranoid. I'm paranoid that I didn't shut my garage door. I saw that garage door go down, and yet I'm still fucking, like, thinking about it. You know, like, in the back of my head, like, did it really close all the way? And if it didn't really close all the way, I hope I hope my neighbors that were throwing that party are nice enough to like shut my garage door for me. <laughs> I am a nut job, you guys. It's fucking annoying. But I can't imagine not being a nut job. So there's this person that just pulled out in front of me, trying to get in the left turn lane. That's fucking annoying, is it not? That's a little selfish. It's a little selfish. <laughs> ah, shit. All right, Vortex, I want you to see something. Look at that. Does that not look like a fucking banana took a shit in my lap? Come on now. I want you to see something else. That is what we call a boom box. Remember that shit? Well, it's not like a boom box. Like they used to exist. But, uh... It's a makeshift boombox that I got at Kroger. That's a grocery store. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy that I got a fucking CD player at a grocery store? Strange ass times we're living in now. But uh, yeah, I got that so that we could jam here at work. I told them I was going to bring it yesterday, but I didn't even show up at all. Um, I'm such a fucking mess, you guys. I really am. It's like, I can't. I can't figure anything out. And yeah, maybe. I think that you smoked weed to humble yourself. <laughs> that That must have been it. It must have been it. I hope so. I hope, hope something positive happened. And, and humility is a good thing, so. Jesus Christ, look at the shit. I want you guys to see it. Yep, that's how much I sweat. <sighs> Are you gonna clean up that banana shit? I guess so, I get oh, fuck. That is so nasty. <laughs> oh. 
When did she call me, man? Hey. Yeah, I'm right outside. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm about to come in. I'm sorry. <laughs> you cried? I hope not literally. Okay, okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, bye. Alright, so... That was my general manager, and apparently... Uh, shit was really bad last night, because I wasn't here. She said there was fighting going on. <laughs> this is a restaurant, in case y'all didn't know, I work at a restaurant. So there's constant drama. Like, constant. It's actually, like, a lot of people think that, like, black people are, like, really, really dramatic. Um, black people say what they think to your face. That's what makes it seem like black people have more drama than white people. White people have the same amount of drama as black people, it's just that they hold it in. Which is why mass shootings happen. So, and it's not like black people aren't shooting each other in the street. They're definitely doing that. But since it doesn't fit the stereotype, why talk about it? You know? <laughs> it doesn't fit the stereotype of, like, white men being the biggest threat in our society. You know? I mean, I think that anybody that has ill intentions with a weapon is a threat to our society. However, what are we gonna do about that shit? Like, really, like, what the fuck? What the fuck does anybody propose to do about that? Aside from, like, red flag law. What does that mean? So, so a person that you suspect of, of being a violent person, they, they might not actually be a violent person, but since you think that it's your duty to, you know, call the police force and make sure that that person doesn't hurt anybody with the weapon that they have to defend themselves and their family, if need be. Um. <sighs> Let me tell you. Don't you love how I talk about, like, all these different subjects and, like, I never come to, like, any conclusion about a single one of them? Well... If I could come up with any conclusion at all, it would be, just leave people alone. Leave people alone. And if people won't leave you alone, then fucking shoot them. You know? <laughs> I love you. You're just, just come with it, you know? Come with it. Yeah, that's bullshit though. It's bullshit like what they think they can stop. And, you know, it's sad though. It's really sad because I think a lot of people that, that, you know, they're not on, you know, my side. Um, but I feel like they have good intentions. They, they really want things to be better. Um, it's just, we all want things to be better. It's just... I'm pretty hopeless about society, you know? I, I don't think that you can fix society. Like, you can, I don't even think you can fix yourself. You can work on yourself. And hopefully with, with God's aid, you know, like you can do a lot more than you would do without God's aid. Um, some people don't believe in God, that's fine. Um, replace God with, with just, uh, you know, this idea of, of like nature, you know, uh, I 
like to think of it as just spirituality is just, you know, like the air. You know, I go outside and I feel God's presence. You know, that's that's how I got where I am right now. But it was baby steps. It was doing a lot of really unconventional shit that didn't make much sense to anybody but me. But that's the best way to find God. And that's really, uh, you're a lot closer to him than all these people that go about finding God in a conventional, lame-ass, boring way, you know? Like church. <laughs> Pishaw, right? But, uh, do I have my hat? You have your head somewhere. To look. It makes me so happy. I love, I love weed anything, but... I just think it's funny because like, I just can't smoke it by myself. If I smoke it by myself, then like, I, I just won't accomplish anything. It's different if like, somebody's like passing it around and I take a little puffy puff. That's a little different than me just like smoking blunt after blunt after blunt, sitting in my house, not accomplishing anything. That's a little different, but. I'm just bored and I kind of want to go back to reading books and like doing comedy again because it's really hard for me to get out and so if I'm making it harder for myself to you know leave the house and do stuff um, and you know there's a part of me that doesn't want to do it you know there'll always be a part of me that would just rather sit at the house and you know be lame but that doesn't bring about much confidence does it um, I'll see you guys later.